All of us in the water industry have suffered the effects of China virus pandemic. Future businesses remain uncertain. As the economy restart, one thing is certain and that is we will have to learn to live with COVID-19 as an ongoing threat with no expiry date. Researchers have found over 80 new coronaviruses in bats which have not yet infected human beings. Now, the question is, how can we continue to serve our customers in domestic, commercial and industrial sectors in the most efficient way, keeping thread of COVID in mind? Secondly, how can we better prepare for the next pandemic which may come? Unlike other sectors, work from home is not an option for us at present. All of us have to learn to wake up one morning to find some of our employees will be very late, maybe absent or in quarantine. Everywhere and every stage there are restrictions. Restrictions of travel through containment zones, restrictions in public transport whether it is bike, auto or trains. Restriction in entry and exit of customer premises. In India, a vast majority of water treatment plants are manually operated. In residential and commercial areas, OEM send its technician to backwash, regenerate, check the water treatment plants, while in industries, operators are internally trained to perform this task. Initiative is a 30-year-old company and over a decade ago, it has developed three technologies which were meant to solve exactly these problems. These three basically aim to eliminate manpower, optimize the plant performance and also provide real-time monitoring and control of the equipment. The first out of these three technologies is complete plant automation. A fully automatic water treatment plant starts with automatic prefiltration, which is normally done either with pressure or volume or pump time and that uses our iSolo automatic multi-port valve. Our smart waterproof control panel named iPanel or RO iPanel controls all the pumps and all the valves with inputs from digital flow sensors, conductivity, level and pressure. It has a very large 8-line graphic display and that shows all of these parameters in one single screen. Depending on the size of the plant, um, filtration, softening, uh, ultrafiltration or RO, the cost of this automation is barely maybe 5 to 20% of the total plant cost. All of this ensures that your equipment is operating completely automatic and with optimum conditions, long life of the equipment as well as lower power consumption. The second technology is remote monitoring and control, which essentially means that both the customer as well as the end user know exactly how the plant is performing at all times on their smartphones. By simply adding iModem, a SIM card and a Crown app, all data such as plant hours, water quality, water quantity and consumption, power consumption are all at your fingertips. This becomes a digital record of the plant operation along with an early warning alert for any reduction in the performance. Corrective actions can be taken uh, guided by remote or by a video call, avoiding site visits. Typically, as on date, customers call only when there's a complete breakdown and an urgent site visit is required. Besides excessive costs of parts which are required to be replaced. Again, the cost increase due to the RMS is not even 5% in most plants and in many cases it would be just equivalent to say two visits of a site engineer. This brings us to our third technology which is automatic smart card based water ATMs. These are used where drinking water is purified and sold directly at public places. Coin handling will involve risk of infection. Hence, smart cards which are non-contact can be kept by the user eliminating any chance of infection. All over the world, water treatment plants are fully automatic. Only in our country, 
we have been lagging behind in this respect. Let us leapfrog to the next generation of water treatment plants directly and make life easier and safer for our customers, for our employees and for ourselves. In thought, word and deed, let us all be completely Atmanirbhaya.